Welcome Chef Adventures. I'm the hot chef. It's another beautiful day here in sunny Southwest Florida. And we're gonna teach you how to make drunken French toast. It's a toast with the most. Stay tuned. They're whipping up delicious dishes. It must be the Chef Adventures. Chef Adventures. Welcome back everyone. Now we're gonna talk about our ingredients that we need to create this fabulous Chef Adventures Drunken French Toast. So this is the kind of bread that I like to use for the Drunken French Toast. Just your regular standard French bread or you can use Italian bread, Cuban bread, whatever kind of bread you really like. I have already cut my French Toast into one inch rounds. Now the ingredients we're gonna need are one tablespoon of light brown sugar packed and one tablespoon of white sugar. We have half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. We have two tablespoons of vanilla, a cup and a quarter of milk, and we have right here, the star, two ounces of spiced rum. We have our six fresh eggs. We are lucky enough to have fresh eggs, and Chef Jason is gonna show you our little chicken friends. French toast facts. French toast was invented by medieval chefs who would utilize every little bit of food they could find in their kitchens to feed their families. French toast facts. French toast was also thought to be the food of the wealthy. They were found that they would cut off crust where poorer people would never cut the crust off of the food. They would eat every little bit. Fun fact. First, I like to start with my eggs and my milk and all my wet ingredients. Milk, milk. Rum. Then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients, the salt, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the two sugars. Get all that goodness out. And mix. Oh yeah. Smells good. I'm gonna prepare my flat top here. I like to use pan spray, a mixture of the pan spray and butter. Fun fact National French Toast Day is November 28th. French toast in the batter, and I'm getting them on the grill. We're gonna look for a nice golden look before we turn them. It's gonna be a little while, it depends on the temperature. I like to cook at more of a medium, constant temperature instead of a high temperature. Perfection takes time, patience. Getting all these French toasts on the grill. Fun facts, in Scotland, French toast is served with two pieces of sausage in the center and eaten like a sandwich. These are perfection, golden, just the way we like it. A little toasty, a little crispy, gets you the perfect bite. Once you get into that soggy, nice middle. And there you have it, everybody. Happy little drunk French toast.
Honey and I'd like to take a bit to thank our subscribers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the views and the likes and the comments. Peace. Uns, 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 u